Hello, Magnificent Brothers and Sisters. For those of you who are new to this page, in these videos, we're talking about the structure and philosophy of the Dream Spell calendar, um, an organic and harmonic calendar, which is based and inspired by um, the uh, ancient Mayan calendar system. Um, I've had a few messages from people um, complaining that in my name I use the term Mayan and that it's a disrespect for the Mayan heritage and people who still follow the old indigenous count, which has never been my intention. I've always tried to explain to people quite clearly the difference between the two calendar systems. That's why I say that it's based on the Mayan calendar. So I kind of felt the pressure to change the name of my YouTube channel and my Facebook page so that everyone's happy. Um, I explained the difference between these two calendars, the Dream Spell and the old tr traditional Mayan calendar, in the video called the Dream Spell and the Shamanic Calendar. So, that being said, um, in today's video we're going to be talking about the four galactic seasons within the Dream Spell. Um, as I keep mentioning in my videos, one of the beautiful things about this calendar and why I find it such a powerful tool for helping us escape the linear paradigm of time is the fact that it has a lot of cycles within cycles and it's basically teaching us how to think in cycles. For example, uh, we're going to go a little bit through all of the cycles that we have discussed so far. Um, so we have a four day cycle, which is called a harmonic, and this is going through the four main colors of the calendar, red, white, blue, and yellow. Um, you can go ahead and watch the video called the four clans for a better understanding of the meaning that these, uh, colors has, have. <laughs> um, so we have 65 harmonics within the 260 days of the Tolkien. Next, we have a five-day cycle, which is called um, a chromatic. This cycle starts and ends with the same color. And um, the start is basically guided by the members of the polar family, which is formed by um, the yellow sun, the red serpent, the white dog, and the blue eagle. For more information about um, the five Earth families found within the Tolkien, you can check out the videos The Earth Families and The Earth Families Part 2. Um, but basically, a chromatic would be um, starting from the yellow sun, uh, red dragon, white wind, blue night, yellow seed. The next chromatic would be red serpent, white world bridger, uh, blue hand, yellow star, and red moon. Um, and within the Tolkien, we have 52 uh, chromatic cycles. Next, we have a seven-day cycle, which is composed out of the seven days of the week, each of them corresponding to one of the seven main chakras within our body, or seven radial plasmas, and you can watch the video called The Seven Radial Plasmas for more information about them. Um, we have 52 seven-day cycles within a year, within a solar cycle, then we have wave spells, a 13-day cycle, which start whenever we have the magnetic tone. I discuss more about wave spells in the video called The Structure of Wave Spells. Um, we have 20 wave spell cycles within the Tolkien. Um, we have a 20-day cycle composed of the full sequence of the 20 solar seals called a harmonic run and you can watch the video called the 20 solar seals for an understanding of the meaning that each of these solar seals carries um, and we have 13 harmonic runs within the Tolkien. Then we have a 28 day cycle which is the duration of a month or a moon composed of four weeks, four times seven equals 28 and we have 13 moons within a year. Um, we also have a 52-day cycle, which is called the Destiny Castle, and it's composed of four wave spells. Um, four times 13 equals 52, and each wave spell is one, uh, basically all the four wave spells have one of the four main colors within the Tolkien, red, white, blue, and yellow. Um, we have five Destiny Castles within the Tolkien count, and you can go and watch the video called The Five Destiny Castles to have a visual representation of what I'm talking about. And finally, reaching our topic of today, we have a 
five-day cycle which is called a galactic season or a galactic spectrum. We have four galactic seasons within the 260 days of the Tolkien. 65 times 4 equals 260 and just like in the case of chromatics, the five-day cycle, the four seasons are guided by the members of the polar family. Um, uh, red serpent, white dog, blue eagle and the yellow sun. The members of the polar family being guides of specific parts of our brain or guardians, they represent different stages in the evolution of our consciousness. The red serpent being the guide of the reptilian instinctual brain, um, the white dog the guardian of the emotional part of our brain, um, the blue eagle the guardian of the collective part of our brain, and the yellow sun is the guardian of the spiritual and transcendental part of our brain. Each galactic season goes not only through these different stages within our consciousness, but it also goes through the transformative power of the four clans. The Yellow Sun, the Fire Clan, um, the Red Serpent, the Blood Clan, the White Dog, the Truth Clan, and the Blue Eagle, the Sky Clan. The cycles of the seasons are coded by the third lunar tone, the um, electric tone, which represents the tone of movement, and you can watch the video called um, the 13 lunar tones for a reminder of the meaning that each of these 13 lunar tones carries. So within the Tolkien, this is how the galactic seasons would look like. Um, each galactic season beginning whenever we have the electric tone and one of the four members of um, the polar family. So red electric serpent, uh, white electric dog, blue electric eagle, and um, yellow electric sun. Between kin 185, kin 249, we are in the galactic season of the red serpent, the galactic blood season of life force. Then between kin 100, uh, kin, sorry, 250, kin 54, we are in the galactic season of the white dog, the galactic truth season of love. Between kin 55, kin 119, we are in the galactic season of the blue eagle, the galactic sky season of vision. And between kin um, 120, kin 184, we are in the galactic season of the yellow sun, the galactic season, the galactic fire season of enlightenment. Each of these seasons has its own qualities and these qualities emanate in all directions. This concept of the galactic seasons expresses which part of the galactic influence or interface may manifest itself within our consciousness, either the instinctual, um, animalistic part, um, the love, the collective, or the sun itself, which is seen as the portal through which the cosmic source, the Hunapku, spreads its energy throughout the solar system through a set of patterns and um, evolutionary programs. The language of the Tolkien are the codes that translate these um, sets of patterns. The Hunapku is the central defining force which has the most powerful influence on our reality. The dream spell supports the notion which the Mayans had that um, the Hunapku is the force which animates our consciousness and thus all of reality. Um, because of this, it provides different ca categories through which we can define consciousness. The galactic seasons help us establish the language through which consciousness expresses itself, but also the ways in which um, it differentiates. The four galactic seasons lay out the fundamental classification of approaches that consciousness takes in order to express itself, to evolve and to bring um, change within the universe. The red galactic blood season through the energy of the red serpent thus becomes the initiation by the blood and flesh of the physical body uh, becoming aware of life through our body and its senses, the connection with our instincts, the um, power of turning our life force energy into kundalini energy in order to awaken our physical body and our whole being to a higher perspective of reality. The white galactic truth season 
through the energy of the white dog becomes the refining process, helping us understand the truth beyond the physical body, um, the interconnectedness of everything and everyone to the source, the power of unconditional loving compassion, um, and it makes us become aware of our emotional body and again opening us to an even higher perspective of reality, basically reminding us that love is our truth and our essence. Next, on um, the blue uh, galactic sky season, through the power of the blue eagle becomes the transformation process when our emotional body expands to the understanding of the collective, giving us visions from heavens on how to create a harmonious reality where we can all thrive together as a, as a collective, not just me as an individual. It basically takes the um, I am my physical body of the red serpent and I need to alchemize my body and it turns it into the we are all one, we are all interconnected and we need to alchemize our collective consciousness in order to aim towards the activation of the planetary noosphere. Um, the noosphere is basically Earth's thinking layer and you can go and watch the video called the noosphere where I discuss about this concept in more depth. And finally, the yellow galactic fire season through the energy of the yellow sun becomes the flowering of our consciousness, the connection to the spark, the flame of consciousness, which is inside each human being. It's the returning to the light of consciousness and the realization of our transcendental nature beyond our physical, emotional or mental reality. It's basically the stage of enlightenment, um, the understanding of our true nature, the understanding of the true nature of reality and of this universe. And it's, I think Jose Arqueles had this quote that, you know, enlightenment is not the stop of our human evolution. It's only the beginning of a new stage in our being. So um, having said all this, currently we are in the blue monkey wave spell, the first um, month, the magnetic month of the blue lunar storm year, the blue castle of um, burning, and we are in the yellow galactic fire season of the yellow sun. Um, this season begins right before the seventh resonant column of the core days kicks in, and um, th these are also quite powerful days, but we'll be talking about the meaning of core days in a future video. So, um, if you have any other further questions about the dream spell or if you're interested in decoding your galactic signature and understanding a little bit more about the gifts that you are carrying and how you can fruitify them, um, you can write me a message either on my email or on my Facebook page and I will leave the email in the description below. So um, until the next time, I am wishing you a most playful day in La Cache.